Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and today we are corrupting 100 pairs of Hrim Sorrows. Now I'd like to quickly thank a subscriber for providing these. Um, I hope we can hit some big stuff for you here and I think our odds are pretty good. Before we jump into that though I just want to remind you all to subscribe if you like the content. I really do appreciate it. Anyway so looking at the results here of what we need. So we need to hit only a couple things there's really only two things that are good here and that's going to be elemental weakness or max frenzy charge here so elemental weakness by itself about 2x on that 2 to 3x it looks like even going down to max frenzy charge it's a similar story just about two two and a half x for max frenzy charge now all in all getting 100 pairs of these gloves four sockets four fusings plus the vol orbs was only about 2.1x so we just have to hit one to make our money back i think the odds are quite quite good um i think we should get at least one of those i would guess probably close to maybe one of each one one max frenzy charge and one elemental weakness that's my bet so anyway without further ado let's just jump right in and do this this will be i would imagine this will be a pretty quick gamble um before i do that though just as a quick note uh, the gloves corrupt itself for about a chaos back, so pretty much everything else is going to be not that great. Uh, attack crit is going to be okay, yeah, about 20 chaos. But other than that, it's it's just those two things. So let's go ahead and jump in, and we'll go through them individually and see what we hit here. I really appreciate the uh, the work going in to get a hundred of these. I certainly know how painful it can be to do hundred trades of 1c gloves let's get those break up the pattern keep going i missed one there did i nope okay this one okay let's get the rares out okay now let's see what we're left with here. We'll go through the very first one. Elemental weakness on hit and in mid-tier roll on the percentage. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to go through and see what we hit here. We'll move everything else aside, basically. Anything else that's that's good, we'll just leave over. We do have a void card to pull in as well. Aura gems, okay. So I'll do a quick price check at the end here. Attack crit, nice get rid of those guys just so i can see here okay down downfalls of the quad tab you can't really see what you're doing nothing nothing it's just one nothing war cry gems that's basically nothing 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 aoe gems that's gonna be probably similar to or gems although i don't think oh attack crit again nice nothing i'm expecting to hit at least one frenzy charge here nothing nothing oh there we go there's the frenzy charge what i tell you max life okay i think i looked at that one it's not worth anything war card gem is going to be nothing 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 more people ask by the way about the quality you don't need Ooh, vulnerability i don't think that's worth much though uh you don't the quality doesn't really matter it's just like a tiny bit of evasion rating you're missing out on okay nothing Nothing, 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 nothing. Pretty good. I mean, so far we're definitely in the green and feeble. That's not going to be worth anything. I'll put that with uh, vulnerability. Nothing, nothing. Attack speed. You know, I thought attack speed, a second Ellie weakness, big money. AOE gems. Okay, let's put that there. Nothing nothing the white gem max es is go with max life i don't think it's worth anything socketed trapper mine is going to be nothing nothing temp chains okay plus one socketed gems vulnerability nothing 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 curse gems will be nothing nothing and nothing well we definitely made money i'm gonna cut for a quick second just do a quick price check just to get an idea of what we're working with here i'm not even gonna count these because if you really want to sell these it's just they're one chaos back you know you'll make you'll make a you'll make a decent amount in 20 30 chaos i guess but 
uh, nothing really to write home about. Nothing that's going to flip this gamble one way or the other. So we'll be right back. I'll do a quick price check and then we'll see where we landed at in total. Alrighty, we are back. Now, excluding all of these sort of these nothings, again, if you wanted to resell these, you can. You'll, you'll get, you know, 30 chaos probably back for all. I don't know how many there are of these. Not nothing worth nothing worth noting there. But overall, we made just about six X alts and 100 C, assuming all these sell. And I think these will be very quick sells, these three. Uh, I am not worried about these ones going at all. So this is 6x right here. These ones are about 20c again for the attack crit. Vulnerability was 10 chaos. These random other ones were about 5. So that puts us at just about 6x alts and 100c, which is maybe, uh, you know, 6, six and 2 thirds x. Um, and I th again, I think these will be very quick sells. I'm not too worried about that. But anyway, so a quick triple of the money, I guess, for these. If you want to put the effort in and buy these, I'm, I think you could probably do this relatively consistently. Uh, the odds are probably okay. Um, I, I had a pretty good feeling we were going to hit at least one, right? And then you're even and then everything else is over. So hitting two is just a two X right there. So all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Just kidding. I did forget to do the void real quick. So let's do that. And it's three fusings. Okay. Bye.